When we got back to Mappin at HQ, we put out an APB on Norman Tedge and decided to try and figure out this case. George, maybe it's time to play What Do We Know? What do we know? What do we know? Sacramento is the capital of California. How do you play What Do We Know? It's a way of organizing facts, Walter. When you're trying to solve a problem, you can't afford to overlook anything. Okay. We know Fatty had a fortune. Do we know that for sure, Kate? Debbie checked that out for us. She said he made more than $15 million from his movies. Wow! We're talking money now. Big bucks, big bucks. Arr. But where is it? Maybe he took it with him. You know, in the coffin. Debbie checked that out, too. He was buried at Forest Lawn by the funeral home of Tinker's Two Everest Two Fat Chance. It was a simple ceremony, and there was nothing in the box but fatty tissue. I checked the banks. They would have records of monies in that amount. I even checked under aliases. You know, pseudonyms. A.K.A. Also known as... Phony names. Yes. Well, nothing. The money has to be at the house. So we know he had a lot of money, and it's probably somewhere at the house. But I never saw it. You don't know of any other safes or good hiding places? No, sir. The other thing we know is that Fatty loved numbers and mathematics. We sure do. Complicated mathematics. And puzzles. Why did the frog cross the road? Like the tape recording? It was stapled to the chicken. Uh-huh. Stop and smell the roses. And that puzzle led us to the wall and these tiles. What is that? It's a representation of the wall outside Fatty's house, Walter. We thought we had another Fibonacci sequence on our hands. We thought it might lead us to the fortune. But it doesn't work? Nope. Starts out the same. One, one, two, three, five. But then it changes. I see what you mean. Three, three, one, four, five, Four, four, three. Doesn't make any sense. Not yet, anyway. I'll keep working on it. And I'll check dispatch and see if we've had any luck in catching up with Norman Tedge. Skin him alive. Tar and feathers are too good for him. <laughs> but it is the same as the Fibonacci sequence to start, isn't it, Mr. Frankly? It sure is, Walter. One and one is two. One and two is three. Two and three is five. Uh-huh. Go on. Three and five is eight. But eight tiles won't fit on the wall, huh, Mr. Frankly? No, they won't, Walter. Unless... You carry. Carry me back to old Virginia. Carry? Well, sort of like in adding. When you have too many for the ones place, you carry over to the tens place and leave the remainder. You know what I mean, Mr. Frankly? Hmm. Remainder. Carry, you say. Walter, I think you've done it. Look at this. One and one is... Two. One, two, three, four, five. When we pass five, we drop back to one, two, three. Three and five is eight. See? There are three tiles in this column. George, what are you doing? Look at this, Kate. Three plus three is... Six. So? One, two, three, four, five. Drop back to one for six. You see, Kate, every time the count goes over five, we drop back to one. I see. One plus four is five. One, two, three, four, five. Four plus five is... Is nine. One, two, three, four, five. Drop back to one. One, two, three, four. 
And I think it works across the wall. No, it doesn't, Mr. Frankly. Two plus four is six. Take away five, that's one, not two. The wall has an extra tile. It spoils the pattern. In a way, it does. But in another way, it might be where... Eureka! Fatty, Fatty hid the treasure. Two plus four is... Uh, six. One, two, three, four, five. Drop back to one. But there are two. Uh. It's a key to a safe deposit box. A what? It's a secure place at a bank where people can keep valuable and private things. This one is at the next to the last national bank. Let's roll. like to take a moment and say that if it hadn't been for all of us working together under very trying circumstances and sticking it out trying to solve this very difficult mathematical problem we'd probably never have found ourselves on the brink I'll open, open it, it. why well, I, I was just getting to it and germs as i look into your faces and i see a lot of faces that need looking into i just like to say <clears throat> walter and this box is enough money for you to get a very very good college education i want you to use it and learn learn as much as you can because nobody can take that away from you good luck and i'd like to say this to my fine feathered friend little louie go for it uh, did I ever tell you the one about the born-again bureaucrat and the overstuffed sofa? Eureka! <laughs> <laughs> Norman Tedge was picked up by the ever-vigilant Los Angeles Police Department while walking near the Beverly Hills Hotel without permission or white shoes. He was convicted of a 487F, grand theft feathers, and caged away from society until he began to molt. 